Hello friends, today we will talk about cardiac axis and its calculation. So first of all you must know what is a cardiac axis. Uh, as you know lead 1, 2, AVR, AVL, AVF. Just examine the flow of depolarization and repolarization through the heart in the frontal plane. In this plane depolarization forces of different magnitude moving through the uh, ventricle in different direction during the normal process of ventricle depolarization. If we sum all of depolarization vectors occurring in the frontal plane through the duration of ventricle depolarization, we can generate an overall vector which has magnitude and direction. The direction of this is frontal QRS, total frontal QRS vector defined by the angle it make with lead one uh, is the cardiac axis is known as cardiac axis in nutshell in more uh, easy way I want to tell you you must have read in physics like a person move toward 10 kilometer toward east then to 20 kilometer toward west then we calculate a net vector of movement from the original side. In similar way here, the depolarization repolarization way travel in different direction and we, what we do, we uh, calculate the net direction flow of depolarization way that is called as cardiac axis. So, today uh, as you can see in this figure, this is a heart and you can see various leads these uh, represent coordinates just like lead 1 represent horizontal coordinate and lead AVF represent vertical coordinate here again uh, these represent coordinates again you can see you can choose any uh, lead 1 and any other lead like lead 1 and lead 2 or lead 1 and lead AVF uh, we usually for our convenience choose two leads I lead 1 and AVF as lead 1 represent a uh, horizontal coordinate and lead AVF represent vertical coordinate so it is easy for calculation but in case if AVL is not AVF AVF is not so clear you can use uh, uh, lead 2 also then you have to do, uh, do calculation in these two coordinates this and this as you can see uh, here I marked coordinates and the directions this is positive side and this is positive side so this is also important you should know about this so we are taking two coordinates horizontal and vertical uh, horizontal represent lead 1 and uh, vertical represent uh, lead AVF so now uh, let us talk about uh, normal axis as shared this color pink color from minus 30 to 90 degree this is we uh, this is the normal axis we consider if the vector after calculation find uh, axis is uh, bit in between minus 30 to th uh, plus uh, 90 then that means that axis is normal in case more than 90 uh, we call it that right axis deviation represented by blue here and similarly left axis deviation if beyond uh, minus 30 to uh, 90 plus uh, minus 90 so now uh, I have photoshop this long back uh, this is just to give an idea just to take an idea uh, whether the axis is um, just uh, look uh, when you look at tracing um, by uh, checking at lead 1 and 2 
like this you can see here lead 1 lead 2 and they are their peaks are leaving in opposite direction it's going upward it's going downward so leaving so we can remember for l leaving for l so left axis deviation similarly lead 1 and lead 2 if they are approaching or reaching each other as you can see here so they are uh, we can say are reaching right axis deviation but this is just for guesstimating and nothing else here I mentioned some causes also of uh, uh, deviation uh, left and right axis deviations and you can read it and note it and uh, this is actually not that much more, uh, important because we have to calculate the axis we know how to calculate the exact axis in degree so let us choose a tracing and we choose lead 1 and lead AVF here now again uh, want to tell you we will do some calculation in lead 1 and lead 2 and will uh, mark here on coordinates first of all we took uh, lead 1 so first of all check the QRS complex the positive deflections and the negative deflection we have to take some of these so uh, if you calculate from here it is around 6 positive and around 1 small square negative so net is uh, net we got 6 minus 1 equal to 5 small squares and uh, similarly uh, we will calculate in case of we are taking lead AVF now so similarly here you can count number of uh, small squares are around 10 and that means R wave is uh, 10 millimeter in height and uh, similarly R if we look at uh, S wave it is uh, negative deflection so uh, once more so the sum is uh, 9 10 minus 1 9 so these are the value which we are going to put on the coordinates to calculate the exact axis we will put the value net sum on here and this is uh, how we do as we calculated here I show both and uh, this is the uh, coordinates represented various leads so let us go further and check here you can see uh, both I have uh, drawn both and all this mm. so we will calculate the axis check this one again check again check lead AVF calculations it's a similar I shown you back so now uh, what we will do we will uh, here uh, we will make coordinates we will make coordinates so let us draw coordinates Here we are taking vertical coordinate as vertical coordinate as AVF this lead we draw a vertical coordinate representing AVF now for lead 1 as you know here we will draw a horizontal coordinate Let's come now we have to put the values here as you can see uh, it is equal to net uh, this is the vector lead representing vector lead 1 
and this is a vector lead AVA. This is positive. This sorry, this is negative. This is positive. Similarly, here this is positive. This side positive. And this side negative. So next, as we have done some, that is around six. So from center, we will calculate. Uh, 5 small square, 6 small square, it is around here. So this is around, this from here to here, 6. And now we take AVF. As you know, positive in this direction and uh, net uh, sum is 9. So from here to here, if we calculate, then it comes here around here. This is full coordinate. Sorry, I have drawn small one. So now what we will do, we will draw perpendiculars on this marked point I'm drawing a perpendicular line on vector lead 1 where I marked uh, 6 this is blue line represented perpendicular similarly we do here here we also draw a perpendicular to this and where this uh, meet we mark this point we will mark this point do where there is uh, two per perpendicular drawn meets we will mark this point of meeting them Here we go. We mark. And this is the, as you know, the, from center. This is the center of coordinates, various coordinates to represent you. So I have marked this one also now we will draw the cardiac axis it will be actually we have to draw a line from here to here this point to this point that will be the axis I show you sorry uh, we better to mark with some other color So I choose a green color. So as you can see here, now again I tell you this is a vertical axis, AVF positive direction here, and we have calculated nine small square. So you can make out here around nine, and this is. Uh, we have calculated from the here this is around 6 so we have drawn perpendicular on this point with blue line and this blue line and where they meet I had drawn a line from the center this is the axis this is the actually axis and we will uh, calculate the axis from the horizontal verti vector vector like from this lane uh, let us uh, make around 
just to uh, give a good Im uh, impression of this so here you go and draw a line from the horizontal axis this is around uh, uh, 60 degree if you compare here from here this is around 60 degree the sterling is around so cardiac axis is around 60 degree so thanks all uh, hopefully this uh, demonstration will be helpful for you thanks you thank you very much